the rant. I'm John Shannon. Well, it's been a couple of days um, since the uh, member the event commemorating the uh, the anniversary of the the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King. And I wanted a cup. I wanted to take a couple of days just to kind of dwell on that a little bit because the question was asked um, how race relations and our society in general, um, how it's changed since then. Uh, how do we? How do we think it would have been had? Uh, Dr. King been alive today, or at least been, uh, or at least his death not being by by assassination, if he'd have died a a natural death, um, I I'm not clear how old he would have been had he been alive, but I'm assuming it'd be somewhere in the 75 to 80 uh, year old range. So um, uh, I got a. I got a, you know, there's a, there's a chance he might not have, you know, he'd have only been alive for maybe 20 or 20 or 30 years uh, later, but it'd be an interesting, it is interesting to think about what the effect, uh, what effect his, his assassination has had on, on our society. Um, I, for one, and and I want to preface this by saying that I don't uh, I don't prof- profess to have any knowledge about that. This is just a gut feeling. That's all this is. But I think that things might have actually gotten better because of his death. Um, it made us. It made society in general realize um, that that racism was wrong. Um, I don't know. To tell you the truth, I don't know that the strides that have been taken to this day. I don't know if it had been possible if he would have not been. Uh, assassinated. He, as I as I read, he was a tireless worker. He was assassinated when I was five years old, so I know nothing of of firsthand knowledge of of what he accomplished while he was alive. But what I what I'm afraid of is that. He would have, if he would have been alive today, he probably would have kind of been in that same light as, uh, as um, you know, Jesse Jackson or Reverend Sharpton. Um, respected individuals, but not taken really seriously. Um Dr. King's assassination opened a lot of eyes, especially after the rioting um, that um, that happened after his assassination. That uh, that black people weren't going to to take this uh, take this lying down, and that um, there was definitely some very uh, uh, some very strong feelings there, and um, and I, I really don't think it was until after Dr. King had had been shot did uh, white America start taking this start taking it seriously. To be honest with you. And I don't know. I, I I'd like to believe. I mean, it'd been great had he been 
had he been alive and been able to uh, to have his legacy, I guess, uh, he, for him to realize his legacy, you know, who knows? You know, he might have uh, he might have run for president. For all we know, he could have been a serious contender for president. Um, we just we just don't know. And we can we can speculate all we want, but um, I I think that oh I don't know I I think that we celebrate his life we can commemorate his death and we take the time to realize that that this was a great man. Who could have maybe who could have maybe accomplished some great things, but um, I, I still think that America took notice. White America took notice after his assassination, and I think that's probably why things started to become or started to get. There was more of a sense of accomplishment following. In the years that followed his death, but that's all I have on that. Uh, I will say this may be my last rant for a while. We're uh, and we're doing it again. We're making another move. Um, we're going to be heading up to Minnesota here uh, by the end of the week, and so unless there's anything really bugging the hell out of me, uh, I'll probably this probably be it for a week or so. But until then. This is John Shannon, the Redneck Cabbie. Adios.